This video is me coming out to somebody that I've known for over a year. Um, yeah, so, so watch this video because there's the surprise that happens that I did not expect. Hello, I'm in the woods and I'm going to tell you this information. And I always tell people in the woods. You know, so you're, you're not the first person that I've interviewed and kind of had this exchange with. And I'm telling you this stuff that I'm about to tell you because like... I want to do cool things like cool adventures together in the future and the the more you know the more that we get to know each other at some point this might come up or something or but um one thing about me that you don't know is that that I am transgender so I was born as you know female body but now male male body and and it doesn't change anything like I don't necessarily have to tell anybody at any time but but it just seems like you know, it just seems good to be honest and get that out. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I well, have to be honest. I'm yeah. not super surprised. Yeah. Because I yeah. heard, because I heard, no, and it's not, it's not you, it's because I heard all the rumors before he started working with us. Oh, okay. So, so I already it's, knew. It's all on the table. That's good. That's good. <laughs> what? He already knew. And the reason he knew is because I worked in one place and I went to another office close by. And um, someone from here told somebody over here. And then all those people talked and. Everybody knew. Of course, nobody like confirmed it was really true. It was yeah. all more rumor than anything. And That's then, good. Uh, and then your boss at the time, she got really mad and she told everybody to shut the hell up. Oh. And quit spreading rumors before he gets here. <laughs> oh, nice. Because we don't want to make him feel unwelcome. Or, well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's funny. Mm -hmm. So people were protecting me. That's nice. You know, standing up for me and stuff. Um, and... Uh, well, and then there was like concerns about like, oh, how is he going to fit in in the community like Silver Lake oh. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually my main thought was like, oh, I don't know how someone who's, who's right. transgender is going to survive in Silver Lake because it's already hard enough on a young single person, especially yeah. someone from like bigger towns and right, right. that's not used to a like, rural ranching community in the desert. Yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you surprised at how awesome I fit in? <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> I don't know. I didn't hang out with you too much in Silver Lake. So, yeah, it, it seemed like you fit in and got along with all the employees up there. And yeah. You were definitely in like the work community. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not really too familiar with how you got along with the like, regular community mm -hmm. or if you ever got into that. Well, so. it's good that it was like a rumor because it isn't, uh, it isn't something that really affects anything. Like at this point, you know, as I go down the street or in life or whatever, it doesn't really matter that much because it's like once you're on the other side, nothing happens like you live a normal life you get to be like anybody else you know mm -hmm. and so it's real simple cool well that's great man that's a big relief off my chest sorry my, sorry to the next surprise oh no that's great <laughs> i mean even that's Goodbye. yeah well good and um hmm, i guess i don't have any more questions then <laughs> yeah do you have any questions because mm. it's an interesting topic but mm, not really okay. i guess well, cool. So we're just going to be friends and it's all normal and good. Yeah. All right. Well. This to me was a situation where I had a friend I knew for a long time. You know, we didn't hang out um, all the time, but then we moved for these other jobs and hang out more and talk about going on trips to, d to other places, talk about swimming and hot springs. and um, So, you know, I got scars. I got things a little different and that he, he should know, you know. It's an interesting situation. And, you know, people, make, people have to make these choices around you. Supervisors, people that find out, you know, they have to make choices. Like, am I going to bring it up or am I going to wait till another person brings it up? Or, for, you know, for the individual who is transgender to bring it up. Like, uh, in some ways, I'm kind of bummed out to... F you know, if just one person had told me, like, hey, just so you know, everybody here knows about your past... That may have given me a different experience, and uh, but instead everybody was so polite and so, you know, private, uh, not, but you know, not with each other. So it's like they had all these conversations that I didn't know about, like exploring the issue and the, you know, this and that. But no one let me explore that issue with them, and then I'm like the only trans person that they know, and they didn't get any information from me other than the cool person that I was when we worked together. And you know, I, I lived with these people, I worked with these people, I partied with these people, I, uh, 
you know, had, had uh, all kinds of different social times and potlucks and everybody was really respectful. So whatever process they did apart from me, they did it right. They did it in a mature way to some extent. Um, you know, after I, after I got this information making this video, uh, we had a little talk afterwards and I was like, well, who told you and how did, you know, how did that go down? Like what, and I still have more questions about that. And, you know, maybe somebody did blab a little bit more than I would have liked. You know, it was kind of like one person disclosing to, I don't know, 30 people. <laughs> and I wish that wouldn't have happened like that. I, but whatever, I guess that happens, you know, being outed, that happens. And when it does, can't say it's not true. Just, I don't know. Interesting topic.